What's up, budget balls? Today we're diving deep into a familiar tech nightmare we all encountered at some point. Accidental deletion of important files. It's frustrating, I know, but what if I told you there's a way to recover that deleted file? What? <laughs> 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 Picture this, you are working on a very important project and then suddenly all your files just vanish into thin air. That's where this tutorial will come in handy. I will introduce you with a very easy to operate and useful software and guide you step by step on how to recover that deleted files. Before we get started, if you are wondering, this tutorial applies whether you lost your files on your computer Laptop's internal memory, including the recycle bin. Memory cards just like SD cards, micro SD, memory stick, etc. and the likes. USD drives, external hype drives, digital camera, camcorder, removable devices, and other similar devices. To begin, all we need is a computer or a laptop. It doesn't matter whether it's a Windows PC or a Mac because the steps will be the same. Then we need the program to recover the files. And we will be using a nifty program called PhoneBo Data Recovery. I know, I know, there's a lot of recovery program out there, but what makes PhoneBo stands out is because one, boasts up to 98% of recovery rate which is very unusual for a recovery program number two you don't need to be a tech wizard or tech guru just to use this program because even your grandma or your little kid can navigate it it's so simple it only takes three steps to get your data back leaving other products in the dust and number three for privacy concerns since you are dealing with your personal files or private data Rest assured that PhonePo values your data's privacy. Even though it has the ability to access your files, it won't sneakily misuse them without your say-so. First things first, we need to install the PhonePo data recovery in our system. So we need to open a browser and then head over to PhonePo.com. On the website, Hover your cursor over the recovery and repair, and then click on Windows or Mac, depending on your system, of course. Once it's downloaded, head over to your designated download directory and install the program. Now that we got our program installed, it is time to recover some files. If you are wondering what kind of files phone pod data recovery can recover, it can recover 1000 types of files covering almost all data files powerfully from office documents, archives, photos, email, browsing data to audio, you name it, the program will detect them smartly and quickly for recovery. Okay, let's plug in our USB drive to our computer. For demo purposes, I placed two files in our USB drive, one a document and two a video that we are going to delete and recover. To start, we need to launch the phone for data recovery in our desktop by clicking the left click twice of our mouse and clicking the yes once the prompt appears. Here, you are going to choose the last known location of your deleted file or your missing file if it's in your desktop or in the download folder, in the videos, in photo, in documents folder for computer. You can click C if you have additional drive or external hard drive, just click whatever drive location it is. If you are not sure, you can also click the recycle bin. And then after that, we need to choose what kind of file we are going to recover. For example, you are going to recover an image or an audio or video or email or document. Or if you are not sure, you can also click the, the others. Since we are going to recover a video and then a document, 
we are going to click the video and then the document. Since the file is in our USB drive, we are going to cl click this removable drive and then press the scan. Once the scanning is complete, we will be presented with folders of the type of files we are trying to recover. Hence, we see the document and video folder. You can navigate the folders on the left side or we can double click the specific folders. Upon clicking the document, you will see how organized the program is by showing you another folder with different type of files. You can scan this folder and just in case you can see the file you are trying to recover or it's been deleted for a long time, we can always click the deep scan at the upper part of the screen. Deep scan goes the extra miles to retrieve old files, even the most elusive files. The scanning, however, will take longer and will depend on the capacity and how old the deleted files are. We just have to wait patiently. Few moments later. After deep scan, there will be more files and folders showing on the screen. To filter, click the eye icon on the upper right here and we can choose either sort by default or sort by deletion. You can also change the view by clicking the icons beside their eye. You can change it into list and then you can click the created date, the file size, the name, the modified date to filter. The red icons are the files deleted and then the black one is the active and working file on your drive. And just in case there's a lot of files recovered and you can find the right file, click the filter. And then you can click the file extension, the range of the file size, the estimated date the file was created or deleted, and then click apply. To recover the files, we just need to click the box icon of the file. Let's click this recovery.pdf and then we go to the mp4 and then recover me. And then click the recover button at the lower right. Upon clicking, you will be asked by your computer where you want to save the recovered file let's just click the this pc and then desktop and then let's make a new folder rename it into new folder and then click ok after a few minutes your data is now restored and there you have it a straightforward step-by-step -step guide to using phone phone data recovery to rescue your lost files it's like having a digital superhero on standby for those uh oh moments. <laughs> Imagine the relief of knowing you can bring back those important files with just a few clicks. We can test the recovered files by opening the folder we created and see if it's working. Once there, hover over your cursor, over. <laughs> there it is, both of them safe and sound. And that concludes today's video. So, are you ready to give PhonePod a try? <laughs> because if you are, simply click the link in the description below to download the software and experience the magic of data recovery for yourself. Don't let lost files stress you out because PhonePods got your back. So again, this is Boy Budget Meal providing you with budget solutions to your gadget problems. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.